What up, folks? T Biz here, and I uh, want to do a review, a real quickie review on um, the Symbiote Spidey or Symbiote 2 Spider Man from the Marvel Legends series of uh, Sandman Build a Figure Wave. Pretty cool figure. Um, I wouldn't say this is the greatest figure, but it's not a bad figure. Um, it's really not bad. I think it's probably one of my, the best Spideys I've seen um, or in the years, as far as articulation, is probably the. Um, the uh, Big, uh, was it a big showdown? Whatever, Fantastic Four Spidey, the one that's all white. That one's pretty sick. Still have it. It's hanging out in the other room, but pretty awesome figure. Anyhow, um, let's check this guy out because he's pretty cool. But uh, before that, comes with some uh, Sandman way, uh, Sandman build a figure parts, which you get the a cool sand mace or Morning Star, and you get a sand hammer or big sand block. So that's pretty cool. Really cool. But uh, anyhow, this looks like a really cool Build-A-Figure. I don't do a lot of Build-A-Figures, but man, this would be a cool one to complete because it looks pretty worthy with all the parts right there. But anyhow, um, yeah, let's check this figure out. He's not really all that bad. He's pretty cool. Has the cool McFarlane style eyes that I like because that's the era of Spider-Man that I like. Besides that, in the John Romita era, or or like probably my favorite Spider looks. I'm not a big fan of Pizza Spideys. Really, really not. I, I really don't like the look on those figures. Um, the bodies aren't bad, but the head, the eyes on the sculpts, I, I just really don't dig. But uh, yeah, this is not a bad figure. It has the same kind of um, shoulder joint as the what you call it, uh, Wolverine. So he can do this like cool diving pose, you know, like he's leaping off a building and uh, got head twist and nod, so he can look down or like he's falling, which would be pretty cool pose. And look, and you got bicep twist, shoulder articulation, double elbows so you can wave hi. And you've got a hinged wrist plus swivel. Plus, I put his alternate hands. I don't want to put his fists on. I like the uh, these hands because it look like kind of give him that creepy crawly crawling look you can go for, which is pretty cool. And you've got a not a ratchety but a ab crunch, waist twist all around doesn't do the splits as good as you'd like them to thigh cut double knees no calf cut which is kind of a bummer um and you got a ankle hinge and a rocker pivot swivel all together which is a bad not a bad figure at all really not bad but um but as far as the greatest, I don't know. But still, cool figure to have in your collection. And I was going to get him anyways. But also, another thing. Feels like this guy had, could really suffer later from just getting real loose. He feels kind of loosey-goosey already. But, um, yeah, you can pop his uh, hand off. And give him a good punch and fist, which is cool. These aren't bad. So he can be taking a really good swipe at uh, any of his villains. And pretty cool. And uh, I want to put him in a creepy crawly pose because that's probably the one cool thing that you could do with him is get him in a really cool creepy crawly iconic Spider-Man type pose. Which if we can get this going, pull this off. Because with his uh, feet being articulated as such, you can do this. So, so yeah, there you go. You can get him in like a cool crawling pose, which looks legit and it's iconic. As far as Spider-Man stuff goes and the look goes. But yeah, pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Like he's scaling a wall or something. Really, really cool look. But yeah. Cool figure. And I dig him a lot. But um, as far as like the best Spider-Man figure, I would not say so. Um, he's really not bad as far as you know aesthetics or whatever. But as far as posability, they could have given him a little bit more of uh, the cut and stuff on the... And the and the calf, which I would have liked. I mean, might not be necessary, but I don't know. I always like that when they do that, when they go the extra mile. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching my review and stuff. And uh, yeah, more reviews always on the way. And yeah, y'all have a good uh, Monday. Thanks.